In this video from Learn Electrics, we will look at exam questions relevant to Part 7 of the Wiring Regulations book. All the questions and page numbers are specific to Amendment Number 2, the Brown book. We will also make you aware of some of the areas where candidates struggle to find the correct answers in the exam, so that you don't have the same problems. Special locations is an important part of the Wiring Regulations book. Each section is unique to a particular type of location where electricity is used and is in addition to any other regulations in the book that apply. But each section is very much the same as all the others in the way that it is laid out. It is also the easiest part of the book to find answers to, since the exam questions will always tell you where to look within just a few pages. You should expect about 10 exam questions on special locations it's an important part of the book, not just for the exam, but also when working on site. I always start my search for any answers on page 3, the main contents page. Here you will find part 7 about halfway down where each section is listed with its title and page number. If you've seen my previous 18th edition videos, you will know that I always tell you to use the contents pages for each of the parts as well but not for special locations. It is of no use to you whatsoever. Part 7 contents on page 241 is exactly the same as page 3, but it has no page numbers and gives you no more information, so what good is that? So on this occasion, I suggest that you stick with page 3 contents page only. After all, it's the page numbers that you want in order to find the answers quickly. Now go back to page 3 and look at the section naming and numbering system that is used. The first thing to note is that it is not alphabetical. And then the numbers appear to be in number order, but on closer examination there are gaps in the numbers. Some numbers are sequential, 701, 702, etc. But there are also some big gaps, jumping from 730 to 740 to 753. There's nothing that you can do, just be aware when searching for a particular section. It's so very useful to you to understand the regulation numbering within each section. Each section will follow a similar numbering method. The numbers are made up of the section number followed by the regulation number from the main part of the book, the regulation that is being modified. This table will help you to follow along. It makes understanding and using special locations so much easier. Look at the table. Here are the regulation numbers from five different sections. They all start with a different number, but the last half of the regulation is the same in every case. Each regulation is specific to a different special location with its own section number, 701, 702 and so on. The end part of each regulation is identical. It is the same regulation for the main regs that is being modified. This happens a lot with special locations. Certain regulations keep making an appearance in different sections. If you want to see what the basic regulation is before it was modified, just chop off the section number and go to the regulation number that is left. In this example, shown here for saunas, chop off the 703 for saunas and you are left with 410.3.6. Go to page 63 in the main part of the regs, and there is 410.3.6 as it was before being modified in special locations. There are lots of additional requirements in part 7, and many of them are common to several sections. Heights, distances and zones figure a lot in part 7, and do expect questions on zones, heights, etc. IP ratings and external influences are common in many sections. Earthing systems have a mention in most sections, which types you can and can't use. Make sure that you read the information correctly. Questions will always include wrong answers that look right at first glance. Lots of RCD information, types, ratings, etc. Again, read the questions carefully. And there will be questions on the voltage types and magnitudes that can be used. Make sure that you understand low voltage, extra low voltage and voltage bands 
and types of wiring systems. The questions on part 7 will always help you to find the answer. They will always tell you where to look, more so than questions on other parts of the regulations. If a question starts with, in a bathroom, then guess where the answer will be. It will be in section 701, rooms containing a bath or shower, on pages 242 to 246. You don't need to look anywhere else for the answer, just these five pages. How easy is that? And outdoor lighting is even easier. Answers to outdoor lighting questions must be the outdoor lighting section on page 302 and 303. How difficult is it going to be to find the answer on just two pages? Read the question. It will tell you where to look. Let's look at some typical exam type questions now and some of the areas where you might go wrong. Question 1 asks, for showers without a basin, the height of zone 0 is, and then four possible answers, choose the single most appropriate answer. The exam is arranged so that you will have an average of two minutes per question in the exam. That's in the exam, but take the time in these training videos to understand how you find the answers. Look at the help that the question is giving you. It says, for a shower. It is telling you to go to the section for showers. Go to page 3, the main contents page, and find part 7, special locations. Section 701 is called Locations containing a bath or shower. This is where you will find the answer, so go there now. On page 242 is regulation 701.32.2 called Description of Zone 0 shown in the pink box below, and there is our answer. Choose answer B, 0 0.10 metres. So easy, just follow the clues from the question. Look at question 2 now. Electrical equipment that is installed in zone 2 of an indoor swimming pool shall have what degree of protection against external influences? Pause the video and attempt the question yourself. Here is the clue from the question. Indoor swimming pool. Go to page 3 and find the section for swimming pools, section 702, and go there. In section 702, you'll find regulation 702.512.2 in Dent 3 on page 249. There is your answer for indoor locations, IPX2, answer C. Make sure you choose the correct answer. IP2X looks similar, but it is not right. It must be IPX2. Moving on to question 3. On a construction site, the particular requirements of section 704 do not apply to which of the following. Pause the video and attempt the question. You are given two clues with this question. On a construction site and... It tells you section 704. How much more help do you need? At the top of page 258, you will find regulation 704.1.1. And reading what does and doesn't apply, we have answer D. Section 704 does not apply to the offices. Now question 4. In a caravan, the cross-sectional area of every conductor shall not be less than what? Pay attention to the question. This question is about caravans, not caravan parks. The question relates to section 721, not to section 708. You will not find the answer in section 708. Section 721 is for the caravan itself, the little box that you live in. Section 708 is for the caravan park, the field where you park your caravan. So, assuming that we have the right section for caravans, section 721, what other keywords is the question giving us? Regulation 721.524.1 is titled Cross-Sectional Area of Conductors. And there is our answer. Answer B, 1.5 millimetres. Question 5 is next. Equipment installed in a campsite shall be protected against mechanical damage by impact 
to what degree of protection. Pause the video and have a go yourself. In a campsite, this indicates section 708 on page 267, electrical installations in caravan and camping parks. So go there now. On page 268, you will find regulation 708.512.2.1.3 and you should choose answer D, A, G, 3. Moving on to question 6. The doors giving access to a maintenance gangway shall and then fourth statements to complete the sentence. Pause the video and attempt this yourself. The clue is in the question. Maintenance gangway and on page 3 we will find section 729 operating and maintenance gangways. It is telling us to go to page 331 so let's do that. Within the pages of section 729 we come across page 334 and regulation 729.513.2.3 which talks about access to gangways as mentioned in the question. At the bottom of page 334 we will find our answer. The only one that matches the book is answer B. Doors giving access to maintenance gangways shall open outwards with a minimum width of 700 millimetres. Answer B. Question 7 is next. An embedded floor heating system has been installed. To protect against burns of skin or footwear, the surface temperature of the floor shall be limited to and four possible answers. Here is the first clue from the question. Embedded floor heating system. Page 3 main contents will show this to be section 753 and it directs you to page 346. Your second clue is the phrase protect against burns of skin and footwear. Regulation 753.423 says protection against burns and there is your answer. You should choose answer C, 35 degrees Celsius or centigrade, as shown in the pink box. When answering questions about temperature, remember that the wiring regs will always give temperatures in Celsius. Watch out for answers that are in Fahrenheit. They are included to try and catch you out. 35 degrees Celsius is the correct answer. This brings us to question number 8. Which of the following is not recognised as a zone in a room containing a sauna heater? You should be getting used to spotting the clues by now. Page 3 tells us the answer is in section 703, rooms and cabins containing sauna heaters. Regulation 703.512.2 on page 257 and also figure 703 will help you with the answer. This is a not question and zones 1, 2 and 3 are shown, but zone 0 is not there. The answer is A, zone 0. Easy if you follow a logical method. Moving on to question number 9. For automatic disconnection of supply to a circuit in an agricultural premises, supplying final socket outlets with a rated current of more than 32 amps, which of the following disconnection devices shall be provided. Pause the video and attempt the question yourself. Look for the clues. Agricultural premises. Checking on page 3, this is section 705. On page 260, under automatic disconnection of supply, you'll find regulation 705.411.1 indent 2. The disconnection device should be a 100 milliamp RCD. Answer D. And finally, question number 10. Equipment installed in a public car park shall be protected against mechanical damage caused by impact to a degree of at least what? Note that car parks are not listed as special locations, nor does car park appear in the index. But what sort of vehicles might the electrical wiring regulations apply to? It has to be electric vehicles, and that is where to look. Page 3 lists section 722 as electric vehicle charging installations and sends us to page 325. 
on page 327 is the answer. Regulation 722.512.2.203 tells us to choose answer B, A, G, 3. A brief summary then. The particular requirements of each section will modify or be in addition to the general requirements in the main body of the Wiring Regs book. The question will always give you a clue to the correct section, often naming the section being referred to. Each section is specific to just one type of special location, which means that there are very few pages to look through to find the answer. And if you follow a logical method to find the right section, the answer will be there. Thank you for watching. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel, get access to all of our videos, and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.